Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this very simple but beautiful tropical arrangement. I promise it's very easy to make and you need minimal supplies. So, let's get to crafting. Alright, so to begin I'm going to need a base for my arrangement and I have chosen this particular container. It's not very big and it's actually kind of short for the height that I'm going to be using. You can use anything as far as ceramic, glass, wood, metal, whatever container you want to use. In my opinion, the style of arrangement that I'm gonna make looks best is something low. So maybe like a dish or a little bowl that's kind of low would also work. I always start with prepping my containers by putting some sort of styrofoam or floral foam in there. So I wanna place this in there, obviously because the square uh, edges are too big, I'm going to shave them down and I'm just going to be using a knife. All right, I've shaved off the corners and a little bit extra because I need to make sure this is going to fit in there. And I can see that I still need to shave off a little bit more, so right here. Is that going in now? Yep, that's going to go in. Well, let's go ahead and place some hot glue in there so that the styrofoam attaches on the inside of the container. And I'm just gonna push it down till it meets the bottom. There we go. And just for some additional support, I'm gonna add some glue on the sides where I see that the styrofoam is touching the inside of the container some little corners here it's not touching here or in these other bigger spots so I won't bother but right here it is just add a little puddle of glue and that's it next I'm going to be adding the tallest item into my container and this is a piece of bamboo stick that I've already cut that I know will go into the styrofoam at a certain point and I like the height of it so all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of glue right where I cut it because bamboo tends to splinter or just crack when you cut into it and I did use a bigger pair of uh, wire cutters to do that so I'm going to be putting this and I'm not going to put it right dead center I'm going to be putting it a little bit uh, towards one edge just like that All right, so here I have these really beautiful flowers. I'm going to be using maybe two or three from this uh, bunch. Uh, maybe you purchased them in a stem so that you don't have to cut them off. But to cut them off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the longest one and cut it at the very bottom part that I can cut from. There we go. So here I have this flower. So now that I have it like this, or if you already bought it, as you know single stamps like this and they're a little too long then you'll need to trim them so again hold them against your container and decide what height you need and then decide how much has to go into the styrofoam like this is the highest the highest that i can have this one so i have no choice uh, and i don't i can't you know i couldn't have cut it any longer because this is the longest point so what i'm going to decide is that about an inch or an inch and a half is going to go into my styrofoam excuse me I'm still a little sick from allergies from outdoors, so I tend to cough. All right, so I'm gonna stick this right in here, about an inch and a half, and that's going to be my actual height. So I'm not gonna cut this any further because then it would be a little too short for my uh, project. I'm gonna slide that right in there. And I'm just gonna bend it forward a little bit, just like that. Now I think I'll use one more of those flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it again at the longest point. And I've got this stem now, but I don't need it to be that long. I want it to be if I was to fold it, I want it to be like about right here. So that gives me all this extra length and I need enough to stick it to the styrofoam. So I'm going to go from here, about two inches down, and then I'll cut it. 
add some hot glue. Go a little bit in front of the other flower, off to the side a little bit, and I'll stick it right where I want it. And then I'll just bend it if I want, manipulate it a little bit. We're gonna keep this arrangement as light and airy as we possibly can. All right, so here I have another uh, flower also on a bush, and I'm gonna cut a couple of these as well at their longest point. I might do three, but I'll cut, let's see. Let's go ahead and cut this one. This seems to be the longest one. Let me cut one more. All right, these are my filler flowers, and these just fill in spaces where the larger flowers or focal flowers don't fill in. And they can be any, any design, so. My longest one seems to be this one here. I'm gonna slide up this little leaf that it has on there. Now I know that at least an inch to an inch and a half will go into the styrofoam. I'm gonna grab my arrangement, pull it forward a little bit. I'm gonna go behind this flower, but off to the side, and I'm gonna insert it right there. So we're gonna add some glue and just push it in that one inch. I don't wanna push it any further because I don't wanna make it too short. And I'm just gonna manipulate the stem a little bit. Let's see, it has some weight, so it tends to go to the side, so I really don't need to bend it too much. Okay, I want it to be a little bit off to the side, right there. So I want to do the same thing behind this flower, but between these, okay? So I'll just grab another one. Again, I'm going to leave it the length that it is. I'm going to go behind. Stick it right in there, and I want to make sure that it's visible. So any leaves, you know, you know, you've got to move things out of the way. Do that, or remove the leaf if you have to. But this is where those are placed on the back. Okay, I've got one more, and I just want it to be nice and short over here. I'm going to move this leaf as far up as I can. Now, because my leaves do slide up and down. I mean, I, I just slid it right up, but let's say they don't slide up and down. Then you're going to need to decide what height you want your flower. Give it the extra length to insert into the styrofoam. If the leaf is in the way where you're going to be inserting, then you need to just cut off. Let's say the length is just above that leaf. You're just going to have to cut right above it. Or if the leaf is just barely a half an inch above, you're going to have to cut it off by snipping it sideways like that, okay? And then you can go ahead and cut where you need to uh, make your length. In my case, I could have just slid it up, but there are a lot of leaves right here, so I really don't need to add another one. And plus I have some extra greenery that I want to add in there. So this will just be bare like that. And I wanted it right here in the front. Make sure you have it so that you're seeing your flowers in the front. There we go. I'll bring it closer so you can see where I placed it. There we go. All right, so now I've got some greenery that I want to add, and this has a nice long branch here. I'm going to go ahead again, cut it at the longest point off of the bush. I like to buy my florals and greenery on bushes rather than on single stems because you get a better value. Now, I've noticed that on this uh, branch here, it's missing some leaves, so I'm going to get one of these and I'll go ahead and cut it off. That was also missing some leaves. So I'm going to take some of them because they're able to pull off and then you've got the little prongs here where you can stick them in. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll sacrifice this stem and I don't have to fill in every single one of them. Anything left over, I can just snip it off so that you'll never know that, you know, something is missing. So any little prongs, like these, for example, where I'm filling in, if you don't want to put too many leaves in there, just cut them off. And you'll never know that something was missing from there, which I'll do at the very ends here. So we don't know. There's one here. I don't need to fill it. That one. And that one and I don't need this extra one next to that one so let's go ahead and just fill in this little branch needs a couple and I happen to have two more pieces that I can add there 
can add a little bit of hot glue to then put them into this. That way they don't fall off again. And I'm just trimming off any extra little prongs. Okay, so there we go. Now we have a nice and full uh, stem of greenery here, a long branch. And we don't see the, uh, the bare spots anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to decide where I would like this, and I might end up cutting it up some more. So that was just a little show to tell you how you can fix something that's maybe missing some leaves. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back here. I want it back here, but I don't want it to necessarily cover that bamboo stick. And this is super long, so I'm feeling that I'm going to need to cut it right above this last leaf. And we'll save that piece. We'll use it. But this one, I'm going to tuck it behind where that bamboo stick is. And because it's kind of loose, you can take this and kind of wrap it around the bamboo stick. So it kind of wraps around it. I'm gonna move that little branch down so it doesn't cover too much. I don't wanna really cover up that bamboo stick so you can still see it. All right, but that's also supporting that little branch. So now I can take some of this and put it down here. What I'm gonna do is actually, I'm just gonna cut off this one little piece because I only want something right here. Okay, and that's just to add some balance to this side of the arrangement because, you know, we've got this flower coming out and it's so big, you know, it kind of throws off the balance of what's over on this side. So I'm adding some leaves there. I do have this little extra bit. I could use it. So I'm going to cut it even shorter and I'm going to use that to fill in right here. Now, I have some more greenery that I could use, but I'm looking at my arrangement, and I really like it like this, so I don't think I'm gonna add any more. I'm just gonna maneuver the leaves that it already has, kind of twisting them a little bit. Twist the flowers so they're actually facing the way that I want. There we go. Centering this a little bit more so it balances off everything, so not everything is falling over this way. I'm gonna come back here because this flower, I can't see it when I did this little branch. So I'm gonna tuck it back in there. Let's see. There we go. Let's pull this guy back a little bit. There we go. So now, we'll look at it. Do we need any more? I feel like it looks really nice just like that. So now I want to put some moss in here to cover up that styrofoam. Okay, so here I have a nice box of some moss that I can use. I have this one, it's from the Dollar Tree. It's not the best, it's very crumbly and kind of full of a lot of dirt, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use it because that's what I happen to have. I prefer to buy a green sheet moth and just pay a little bit extra because it'll be like in one big piece rather than like a lot of little crumbly pieces like this, you know, that just fall apart. Okay, so I'm just gonna take these pieces and I'm gonna tuck them in into my arrangement. Should've put a little bit of hot glue there, so I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna put some hot glue down, just a little bit, just to capture some pieces. You don't wanna to put too much and then burn yourself when you're reaching in there. Okay, let's put some hot glue under that other one over there. That first one that I put down. Just want to cover. And then we'll give it a little bit of a shake for anything that's loose to just fall out. Okay, a little bit of glue there. Throw some crumbs in there. There we go. And shake it off. Wipe off our base. Wipe off any webs of from your hot glue gun, and you can use the you know the hot air, uh, your hot gu hot gun, excuse me, or you can use a blow dryer to do that. But there we go. You can see that the styrofoam has been covered. All right, everyone. I have completed my arrangement. I still have 
flowers, this is the exact same flowers, and a greenery left over in case I do want to make another arrangement or if I want to use it on a wreath to match this one. So as you can see, it uses very minimal supplies and it's not hard to put together at all. Just make sure that when you're putting your flowers together, they have some sort of balance and shape to them so that you don't have too many flowers on one side and nothing on the other. That was it, everyone. It's super easy. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up, and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below and let me know what you think of this. I'm going to call it a tropical arrangement. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and then the little bell so that you get notified of all of my videos as soon as I upload them. Thank you all for watching, and as always, enjoy.